All right, one thing I wanted to tell you, and I guess it was wrong of me not to earlier, but um, I guess for the last several years, what um, I'm, I'm looking for it, so. What has been done at the St. Louis campus is they have what they call a land party. All right? So it's kind of like a big gaming thing. If any of you are interested in possibly being involved in this, it's the Friday before Thanksgiving. So it's November 17th. There may or may not still be slots available. So if you go to rankin.edu slash LAN, you can find out more information. It literally starts at 4 in the afternoon. It literally goes till 4 the next morning. They give you free pizza, free energy drinks, soda, I believe. And as it says, all gamers and all different types of games are welcome. So again, that's Friday, November 17th from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Now, you might think, yeah, fine, I don't, I don't care. But this you might care about. I got this this morning. And they're trying something new. I can find it. If you go out to stlscatterjam.com, maybe it's not new, but as it says, doors open at 5, the event begins at 6. It's at Rankin St. Louis. Ever wanted to make a video game? It says grab a friend or several that becomes your team. And you can register. This I just got this today. So if you, wanted, if you were interested in that, you go, well, what is all this stuff? Well, look, there's, there's Scatter Jam. All right, what if I never made a game before? What kind of competition? So it's at stlscatterjam.com if you're interested. Again, if you're not, doesn't hurt my feelings any. So this is it right here if you do want to take a look at it. All right. And again, if you have no interest, not a problem. Evan just put this out this morning, and um, I did. He, it did come with an email, so I can show you the email too. It says Paul Smith. He's a new instructor that they've hired, and I have coordinated a game development event to be hosted at the St. Louis Rankin. I have several students who will be in attendance, and I thought I would spread the word around. These events typically attract 80 to 100 people interested in writing code. I plan on giving my best effort to recruit any of them. We'll see how it goes. All right. So again, it might be great. Maybe it won't be. I don't have any idea. All right. That said then, on the email that I sent to you today, if you would actually take a look up on the screen here, You may or may not remember, but this is what we went over as a class last spring. We did this, the thing that's in blue right there. Now, we did that for MySQL, but what I'd like you to do for a while, I'm not saying the rest of the period, but at least for a good hour or more, is to go in and take a look at this site. Go to, I know it's, I know it's MySQL, but go through there because it gave a good idea of showing the different things. So go in there and you've already done the inserts. If you want, you can update something. I don't care. Or you can add a new record, etc. If you want to do that. If you do end up adding a new record, remember, you will manually have to put in the ID. All right? But... Even more than that, you know, go in there and run some select queries. There's all sorts of select examples in here. All right, section 2.5. Do a select star, see if it works. Try to, try to grab just some of them. Then put in the where clause. All right, I'd like you to go through as many of these things as you can 
you know, I used to tell this to students, they'd give me a weird look, but I'd say, I want you to get intimate with the data. And I don't, I honestly, I, what's that? Oh, I, I believe it. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, what I want you to do is I want you to use the database you just put in, and I want you to run some of these types of queries on it. So, for instance, if, if, if I were to say to you, who had the biggest loan and how much was it for? You could do that. All right? Who had the smallest loan and how much was it for? All right? What is the total cost of all loans that, that we are giving right now? What is the, whole to the total cost of all loans we are giving right now that are for 10 years or for 20 years or for 30 years? Get the idea? I'd like you to, I'd like you to go through and do a bunch of these. And I'm going to write some myself. I'm going to turn this off. The chances are when I write them, I'll make some mistakes. But I'll, I'll make my own little worksheet up, all right? And then at around 3 o'clock, we can go over it, all right? And then what I'm going to ask is the other day, uh, what was that, on Monday? The end of last week and on Monday, we were going over that BMI thing, all right? And what I'll do is, I'll, I'll, whatever you've got, I'll let you bring it up here on your flash drive, and then I'll go over mine, and I will actually make mine available to you. Okay? Now, Evan said he got his to work where he got the totals. I, I can get to my totals page, but my totals won't cascade over to the page. Okay? So we will do that maybe around 3.30, quarter to 4 or so for the last half hour. 45 minutes. No, that's what I'm saying is I got all that code in there to do it, and I know the code is being, I know that the calculations are working. What I did was before I set the session, the session variables, I created local variables and I ran it just to make sure that those values were being set, and they were. They were all correct. So I, but like I said, I think I actually know what the problem is. I just don't know what the fix is for. Okay, so I did a bunch of queries on here, and I just gave you the hard copies, so if you want to try them yourselves, you can. Some of them are real simple. You know, how many different types of loans are there? Remember, that's the select count. What was the biggest loan for? Well, one thing that made me realize is when I did this, I thought I did um, $100 million. I did 100000 for the max. You understand what I'm saying? And I screwed up. So... I could always fix that with an update query, I suppose. I could take every loan and multiply it by 10, you know, but that's, I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. So largest loan, smallest loan, average loan, all right, which I rounded to two decimal places. How many people have loans for 10 years? Now, if there's, if there's three types of loans, 10 years, 20 years, and 30 years, 
and there's 500 people with loans, that means that when I add up these three types, they should equal 500. So 160 plus 173 is 333. You take 500 and you subtract 333, that says I should have 167, which I did. So many of these were real simple, okay? Um, what's the average number of years for a loan? Well, you'd expect it to be 20, wouldn't you? 10, 20, and 30, okay? When was the earliest authorized loan date? When was the latest? What was the average? That's a trick question. You can't do averaging on dates. You can only do addition and subtraction with dates. And I did do a couple. Uh, well, I don't know what happened to that one, but I don't know. Uh, th these were actually something that you might want to be, you know, might want to use. And I didn't put all of the information on there. So how many customers are there from each state? And show the state. I only showed the first three because there's 47 states, and I didn't feel like printing out 47 lines worth. I think there were only four from Missouri, which I found kind of interesting, but that's just the way they set it up. How many are there from each zip code? Well, there were a lot. You know, there were probably 500 lines almost that we're going to print out, so I didn't print those out. So I only printed out the first few lines. How many employees are there from each state? What I did, you may or may not care, but I went out to, and I, and I, I typed in, I googled uh, biggest loan companies in U USA, and one of them that came up was Lending Trade. And I knew they'd have a bunch of different uh, locations, so those addresses that are in there are actually lending tree addresses. All right? So there, you know, and there, these were three of their offices. And I just randomly did it, you know, and it's um, how many by zip code, same kind of thing. Now, this was actually one that, that made me think and could make you think. All right? And the question was, how many customers have each type of loan? So again, when I add this up, this should equal 500. But 73 people have an auto loan, 53 have a boat loan, 65 have a business loan, 48 have a college loan, 56 have a home loan, 67 have a motorcycle loan, 72 have a personal loan, and 66 have a wedding lo loan. And when you see that, I had to do a join on there. All right? So I had to join together and I had to grab the category description from the categories table, but I, get, I had to get a count of how many people, all right, there were uh, from the loan details table, and then I had to join them together and do a grouping. And a couple more, I guess last one. This one I thought, again, was one that probably would have made you think. Show the first name, last name, and loan amount of all customers with an auto loan, and an auto loan was category two. Show the results in descending order based on the loan amount. All right? So again, you notice there you had to join together three tables. Since there were three tables, there are actually going to be two different joins. I'm doing the old-fashioned join, plus I wanted the category to be auto. All right? And I guess that didn't line up well. but So that's just something that you can take a look at. All right? These are all things that as far as I'm concerned, you should be able to figure out. Now, I have, a, I have a question for you because I don't know the answer to this. And my question is, did we go over this exercise, 14.1? We didn't go over it, but we covered it. Did we like, do it as a class? You gave us a handout of it. But we didn't, and I had you key it in, but we didn't go over it? Is that? I thought that's what we were doing. Okay. Because then we will do that, just not right now, because I, I don't have my copies or anything with me, and I've got some notes on them. But we will do that then tomorrow. All right. The other thing I'd like to get from each one of you right now is uh, your copy of how you did the BMI thing. And... I'm going to be generous and I grade it. I really am. I wanted to see the kind of effort you made so that putting all this stuff together, ideally at least, when we take a test, and we may not start on the, the stuff for uh, St. St. Charles until next week, because I want to be through Chapter 14 by the end of this week. So tomorrow, tomorrow we will go over that exercise for Chapter 14. 
Again, maybe I gave you the handout, but it's one thing to give you the handout, it's another one to go over it. So we'll go over that exercise, all right? And um, I don't know what else we'll do, but we'll do something else, all right? I'm not sure when I'm gonna give you the next test. I mean, the other thing that I can do too is to just give you a test tomorrow. I know you don't, don't make faces, but just have it on B on 13. All right, as opposed to if it's on Thursday, it'll be on 13 and 14. All right. Any thoughts? You're not thinking, period, or what? No? Let's see what I have enough stuff here to do it for just 13. Let me take a look real quick at my chapter 14 one. Maybe we can just go over that right now. <clears throat> 